Okay, I am a mystery-solving machine! Intro. Yay. What's up, rascals? Welcome to Turtlehead, an RPG Maker game uh, suggested by one of you lovely rascals. And, uh, actually it was a birthday request, specifically. So, yay! Um, not my birthday, uh, theirs. It's the first time I've done an RPG Maker game on the channel, so, uh, or played an RPG Maker game at all, really, so. I don't know what to expect other than 16-bit uh, Super Nintendo style graphics, but I know that there is a killer wearing a funky mask, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> Either way, let's get on with the show and see what we got for best game experience. It is recommended to play in a dark room with headphones. Well, I've got headphones. Come on, guys, pick up the pace, why don't you? Give it a rest, Emma. We're not supposed to even be here anyway. Yeah, yeah, if you don't want to come, then just go home already, Mason. <sighs> then who would be around to stop you from getting arrested? Laughs. <laughs> you worry too much. Try being a little more adventurous. Try being a little less exposition-y. Well, the characters are drawn kind of cute. Well, here we are. The atmosphere sure is a whole lot different here at night. I added an extra here. I don't know where it came from. All right, but anyway. Why are all of the lights still on? It's nearly midnight. The gender's supposed to be here in about an hour. I guess it's for their benefit? What the hell, Elma? You never said anything about that. Calm down, would you? We won't even be here that long. Ugh. I swear, if I hadn't dragged Harriet into this as well, I'd leave you to get yourself into trouble. Whatever. Don't force... E Whatever. I didn't force either of you to come. I'm having a hard time reading today. <laughs> Such a child. All right, let's just get this over with. What, what was so important that you had to sneak into school so late to do it? What better time to try and photograph the ghost than now? I had a feeling this had something to do with that dumb rumor. I'll search the upper floors. Mason, you can check the halls to the right. Hurry, you'll look around the entrance while keeping a lookout at... While keeping a lookout on the front door for us. Now you're just ignoring me. If anyone spots any signs of the ghost, call for me right away. <sighs> what a pain. Say, Harriet. You've been fiddling around with something in your pocket since we got here. Is something wrong? I see. Sorry, I won't pry if you don't want me to. Anyways, I think it's about time I got started. And it's about time we got done with this exposition because... God, that was a long session of whatever, though. F. I don't know what Emma's thinking, but we could get into some serious crap if we're caught. Try to be cautious if you're going to look around, Harriet. So are we playing as Harriet? Yes. Okay, so... How? Okay. So, interesting, very interesting. Hello, I'm gonna sneak onto the computer, see if I can't find the teacher's prawn. Nope, never mind. That is a weird configuration. Why is there a computer desk stuck in a uh, closet corner like that? What? It's also this game would be a lot. The door is locked. The, it, there would, it would benefit a lot from having some uh, background music. Things are super silent. Oh, hey Harriet. Say, you don't actually believe in any of Emma's nonsense, do you? I know that people have seen some strange things around here recently, but I still think it's silly to say there's a ghost around. I guess either way, though, I'd 
better hurry up so we can get out of here. See you around. Okie dokie. Hey, look, a key. There's a key on the floor. Yeah, I know. I saw it. So I picked up the key hallway. The hallway key. Is is that for... Wait, this is a hallway. Is it for this door? There's no need to mess around in the cafeteria while you're here. Okay. Check out the bathrooms. Why is there an X marked on this stall? The stall is locked. You can see something on the ground inside the stall, but it's too far for you to reach with your hands. You don't need to go right now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So. Sneaking into the boys' room. There's really not much to do in here. It's much. Call me crazy, but it looks smaller and more boring. No, it's about the same size. Just It's the urinals that make it seem a little bit funky. Mason is already searching this area. Okay. So I go this way again. Maybe check out. Maybe the, that key unlocks this door. The door is locked. Nope, apparently not. Okay. Then where? Should I go upstairs? I should probably search all the other... Oh! Use the key. Okay. Hello! This door is locked. Poopy! Also locked. You think you can see something through the window. Oh. Tis the face of evil, I see. Okay. Now it's gone. There's nothing there now. Am I going to have to run away soon? I probably will. You don't need to go upstairs right now. Oh, well, then what the... What do I do? I do not know. The locker is completely empty. Looks like there's enough space for a person to fit inside. Okay, so uh, exposition tells me that I'm going to be hiding in the locker pretty soon. Or at least them lockers. Where to go now? I don't know. Just around midnight. Yep. Yes, it is. Desk is filled with various office supplies. Okay, so I can check the desks, too. Pens and paperwork. Okay, so what about going back to that one room? Check the desk here. Doors continuous. None of them are of any importance to you. Okay, fine, whatever. Poopy. So what about in here? What about the filing cabinet? It requires a combination to open. I'm sure I'll find it later. There's something written here. Memo to Dale. The combination has been has to be entered as M D. It shouldn't be too hard to remember on your Remember your own birthday. Okay, so somebody's birthday is the combination. So the f so the first two digits are going to be either 1 through 12 or principal's office. Okay. There's a calendar on the wall. Aha! Mr. D okay. So 1026, that is the combination that we need. Okay, I am a mystery solving machine. Ha ha. Let's get on in there. Bam, it opened. And now what? There's a key inside. The office key. Spiffy. I like it. Let's go to the office. 
Which office? This office? Is this an office? Unlock the door with the key. Okay, snoop around the principal's office. The sign has the principal's name on it. Congratulations. There's something written here. Even after all these months, I can see that the students are still suffering. Suffering? But how could they not? The police still have no leads and haven't made any progress in their investigations. What happened was completely shaken this community. Even if no one were... Even if the one responsible were to be brought to justice tomorrow, I fear that it is already too late and that the worst has already happened. What? Exposition? There's nothing of interest in the cabinet. Aw, oh, bummer. But that note was apparently interesting because... Uh, not <laughs> Judging from the uh, conversation at the beginning of the game... Things weren't so bad. Things were just hunky-dory. They're just a, a nice, innocent searching for a ghost. Hey, Harriet, where are you? Uh, right here? Well, this may have been an uneventful start to the game, but, uh... Who knows, it might pick up and get exciting in the next episode. But that's gonna do it for this episode. Check back for more, because I'll be playing more of this, obviously, because we've just barely gotten started. We've barely scratched the surface. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know by giving that like button to Bob. Even though it was slow going and uh, a slow start to the game, but uh, that's just how these go sometimes, I guess. Either way, I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.